presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market. These well, are up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, what if you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Ask for what you want. This, this is a great card. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise. Everyone has the right to ask you for what they want. You have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 17, NASDAQ up 48, SP's up 4. Gold, gold contract up $12.20, traded at 1887 an ounce. We have silver up 26 cents, $22.21 an ounce. Light sweet crew down 2 bucks, $83.82 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note. Up eight ticks, trading 107.31. The 30 year up a full point, plus 13 ticks at 113.15. And King Dollar. King Dollar is down 46 ticks, trading 105.779. The Euro is at 106. The Yen is trading at 149. The British Pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Now let's go to the world of the dollar first. So I'm going to put the dollar up here. You're going to be able to see just exactly how we broke this trend line. And so this has been since July 14th, folks. Okay, July 14th, the dollar's been a one-way trip, and it's been a direct correlation of the market. Also, meaning the dollar from July 14th. Going higher, market going lower. Now, what we did is we broke it. Now, when you break something like this, okay, most times what's going to happen is that you're going to go back out to the breakout area. And that, we're trading at 105.779. And the breakout area is 104.699. It's right in here. And as you can see, it took quite a while to break it. It came up. It took like two or three weeks, really. Come up, kept messing around with it, messing around with it. Then it finally had a sign of strength. Then it had a second sign of strength. So what I expect we're going to see is this. You're going to see this come down into this area. Then we'll have to build cause to get to lower price. You know, you can make the case. You know, when you break a channel line like this, you can make the case that, yeah, it's going to go to the bottom of the channel line. But what does happen is that you always have counter trend bounces. Because if we go with the, the Bud Rolfs channel line, he was the channel master in a monster way, okay? The bottom line is that this will go down. Then it's going to come back and test the underneath of the channel line, okay? So it's, it's pretty cool how these channels work because they're consistent, folks, okay? That, that's the real bottom line. We get into the S&P. We take a look at the S&P. Well, actually, you know, I want to go to the bonds next because... The reason I want to go to the bonds is that it's all about the bonds and the dollar as to where the S&P wants to go as well as the metals want to go. So if we take a look at the 10-year, you're going to see the 10-year was as high today as 108.11. We're at 108 now. And this wants higher price also, and including, uh, excluding the Fed minutes come out, okay? And inside the Fed minutes, folks, so check this out. This is pretty cool, man, because... The Fed 
at this particular point, let's see if I get this straight. Is that right? There we go. Okay, so in the Fed minutes, okay, you get federal policymakers agreed last month that policy should remain restrictive for some time, while noting that the risk of over tightening now had to be balanced against inflation on, on, on its downward path to 2%. Participants generally judge that with the stance of monetary policy and restrictive territory, risk to the achievement of the committee's goals had become more two sided. All participants agree that the committee was in a position to proceed carefully and policy decisions would be data dependent. You know, you still have some of them that say they want one more cut, one more rate hike. Most of them, folks, okay, uh, I, my take is that the market's going to do it for them, okay, um, that this thing will have topped, you know, so we'll see how it shakes out. If we go over to the SPY and we take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see, and as I, as I said before, let's go to the 10-year again. As I said before, if you remember, when rates were at zero, the market itself, the bond and note market, they're the ones that took off first and start raising rates. And then, you know, inside that Fed minute, there's amazing, there's one <laughs> sentence, there's a paragraph in there that participants were shocked just about that, they didn't use the word shock, they used some other word just like it though, that the borrowing costs went up so dramatically. It's like, are you kidding me? Like, seriously? Let's go to our man Costa in Arlington. Costa, what's going on, brother? How you doing, Tommy? Doing great, man. Great to hear your voice. Nice to hear you too. Medtronic, Tommy, where is the bottom? Symbol MDT. F? No, Mary David Tom. Metronics. Oh, Metronic. Okay, cool. Let's look at it. Okay. So you got Metronics. Okay, so let's take a look at this. The high is 92, the low is 72. Okay. Interesting. So. <clears throat> Mm, look at this. Now, let me ask you something, right? Have, have you been in the stock a long time? Or do you know the no, stock? No, I'm looking, I'm looking to buy it. Okay. So, I really wonder what's going on with this thing. The reason I'm asking that, right? I actually um, know something that years ago, right? This is the stock that had a big scandal. And... Let's see, what, what were they selling? They were selling something, man, that, like, was really bad. And they, they, they ended up getting away with it. Not getting away with it. They, you know, like anything else, they pay fines and everything, right? But what happens, Costa, is that... Yeah, just stay with me a second, Costa, okay? We'll be right back. Sure, okay, I will. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now is trading uh, down 17. NASDAQ's up 50. S&P's up five and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down 16, NASDAQ's up 48, S&Ps are up 5. We're talking with uh, Costa, and we're talking about Medtronic. So when you take a look at this, Costa, right, it's already coming into the high-volume uh, deal from, you know, the pandemic. It has another one, though, underneath there at 55 bucks. So I wouldn't touch this right now because, okay. you know, this thing can break. And then I start looking, I just start looking to be like, okay, why is this thing getting smoked so much, right? Now listen to this, this is kind of wild, but I'm gonna tell you this other story when I'm, when I'm done here. So it's saying here that between Medtronic and Abbott Labs, um, the FDA, so the FDA is starting a digital health advisory committee and specifically the committee is, well, they're saying, okay, we know how this goes, to explore the complex scientific and technical issues related to digital health technologies. But what do you hear what digital health technologies actually mean, folks? It means they want to know what type of artificial intelligence, machine learning, augmented reality, virtual reality, digital therapeutics, they are actually putting into the things that they're, you know, they're developing right now. So I would just kind of wait. And the, the second part of this, now this happened a long time ago, but you, you might have remembered it or not. They had some kind of real problem. I'm going back like 15, 20 years now. And it had to do with one of their big brands and it was like big, big trouble, meaning uh, it was the hot replacement deal. It was something. But to make a long story short, one of my cousins was like a fixer. Um, and what I mean by that specifically, folks, okay, there's, there's, there's folks that, bottom line, just specialize in going into a company. They get a bad scene happening. They basically cut off some heads. They fix it, and then that's it. Well, in this case here, I remember this so well because I, I couldn't believe that he went in there at number one. But I remember this specifically because I'm reading, you know, it was such a scandal. And what happened is that 
after he actually signed the contract, he quit three days later because it was so bad. <laughs> so I'm just giving you that as a, a factual deal. And sometimes when that happens with companies, you know what I'm saying? That sometimes there's stuff in there. And in his case, you know, he didn't quit easy. Trust me on that. Do you know what I mean? So, and you know how these corporate guys are, man. Most of the time, you know, they've most of the time they know that there's going to be things that they weren't aware of. But he he quit in three days. So, I just wait to that 55 and see where you're at, Costa. Okay, Tommy. Thank you. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Have a good. Bye bye. It's you know what's interesting about that. Uh, that's going to be a big deal, too, folks. Okay. Because what is going to happen is that in AI, the fastest acceleration that AI will do is going to be in our pharmaceuticals, which totally makes sense because everything is basically, you know, DNA based. So, you know, there's going to be some really good stuff that comes out of that. The real, you know, we'll see what else comes out of it, but that's going to be a very fast process. You know, if you got to see 60 Minutes the other night, they had, they call them the, um, what did they call them? Well, anyway, he, this is one of the first guys that were into AI. And they had him on for about uh, 20, 25 minutes. And they started it out. If you hadn't seen this yet, it's worth taking a look at. They started it out with these two robots, right, that were playing soccer. And the bottom line is that, man, they can play soccer great. And he was explaining that they never taught them how to play soccer. What happens with the neural networks, this is the guy that established the neural networks. What happens with the neural networks is that all of these robots learn through neural, neural networks and they learn every single day, every single day. And one of the things that he said, which was really amazing, is that the way the neural network works, okay, is this, is that they would do something, okay, so pitch the robot does something. And then if it has a right equation that comes out, okay, they remember, okay, that's the right equation. But on a continual basis, 24 hours a day, they are doing so many things and they get to understand what is the right thing and they get the right deal out of it versus the wrong deal. So he was saying that these things actually think, okay? Now watch, this is where this gets really wild. So they were asking him, and he really explained it in common sense, and I hope I can too, that he was explaining that just as our brains, right, you know, we have all these connections. And he was saying that our brains have hundreds of thousands of connections. And right now, the neural networks only have like thousands of connections. But those thousands of connections versus our hundred thousands of connections can already learn more. And so that he figures at some point, we will be the second smartest on Earth. And the AI robots will actually be the first. And, and here's the kicker. That's, what, that's why he started out with the uh, robots playing soccer. That they go and learn everything. They just don't, you know, they just don't, you, if you're programmed from one thing, they don't, the, the folks that are actually running the neural networks don't even understand, and this is the scariest part about it, they don't understand how it actually works how the black box actually works, but they know that it does work through the machine learning process. So, you know, it's, it's pretty wild, man. It's, it's really wild. If you get a chance to go over, I'm sure they have it online, it's well worth it, you know. He wasn't gloom and doom. He was explaining that how many things are actually gonna, you know, be better in the future particularly healthcare, healthcare and pharmaceuticals, he said that are gonna be the fastest acceleration that we've seen in a long period of time because of the fact that they can take the, you know, chromosomes, they can take the whole ball of wax and calculate them by 
the speed of, not the speed of light, but just about, okay, which is going to make a difference in the theories about what kind of drugs can go after this, what kind of drugs can go after that. And I think that's where, probably if you heard that quote by Jamie Diamond, Jamie Diamond was claiming that, well, he was speculating, I think, that the next generation is going to be living to 100 years old and they're not going to have cancer. Well, I hope that's the case, but, uh, you know, we know how fast technology can actually go. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 10, NASDAQ's up 54, S&P's up 5.5, we got gold up 12.30, and the dollar is, uh, where are you, dollar? Must be going down a little bit more since the market's going up. Yeah, down 63. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow's down two, NASDAQ's up 64, S&P's up seven and a half. And, you know, when we went over that Medtronic, I want to thank Jimmy in the Den for this heads up. And so Costa, what's also happening, and this is, brings it all the way back, when I, you know, I just said the aspect that sometimes the companies just don't change, even how many years it is. So checking out, this summer, 
You have the Justice Department going after Medtronic for bribery inside a VA hospital, okay, with some salespeople. We'll see where that shakes out. But that refreshed my memory because that's exactly what was going on the last time. It was bribery allegations for their hot devices. And that's what it was. And my cousin was the fixer and he quit in three days because, you know, they could say one thing, but then once you get inside, it's like, okay, man. That, so that's, I would say, that's the bigger issue. And you know what the amazing part is, folks? Okay, check this out. I really learned a long time ago. I don't know how this happens, but when you have a, whatever the ethics of the company actually is, it's really hard to change them with these large companies. I mean, if they used to basically, you know, all, well, let's put it this way. Most medical firms are always into some kind of tit for tat. Okay, because that's, that's why they make so much money, because it's a third party payer. So it's like, okay, you're prescribing this, why? What are you getting on the other side of it? Now, there's plenty of legal ways to do that. Most of them are legal. But you have plenty of people, plenty of companies that go over the top and just say, screw it, man. I'm going to bribe you. You know, you're going to give us big orders, and that's how it goes. And what I've found is that if that happens in a company, they can't get it out of the company, man. So, somehow that thing keeps recycling. Like, sometimes it recycles every five years. Sometimes it recycles every ten years. It's like, man, they're just, it, it's there. It's there, you know, and it's probably there because, you know, the amount of stories that are told, who, who knows, you know. But we, and, and when you're dealing with third parties, third party payers, um, it's, it's always much easier to get away with fraud. That's the other side of it. You know, if you and me are doing business, and I have to pay for it, or you have to pay for it, everyone's careful, right? When you get a third party payer, it's a whole different ball game. It's all about paperwork. What is the computer gonna pay you on? What is the computer not gonna pay you on? That's kind of how it goes, man. And they, you know, all those codes, if you don't think, you know, I mean, one, you know, one of, the, one of the biggest things, and we've all seen it, which is really wild, so picture this, imagine, Whoever, the first mover, you know all these urgent care places, right? Well, the first mover on that, they just must have killed it. Because the difference is, is that, and this is all legal, but the bottom line is that an urgent care place is just like an emergency room. So when you and I walk in an urgent care place for anything, okay, the bottom line, the billing structure is so much higher than, you know, walking into a doctor, it's unbelievable. And that's why you see so many of them. That, that's, that's why these things are popping up all over the place. You know, and that's where we have no leadership in the context of health care and how much money it sucks out of the economy. And, well, it goes both ways. It sucks money out of us because we're not in the business. It puts money into the people that are in the business. And it puts quite a bit of money into it because, anyway, you get the gist of it. But that's one of them that stick out, you know, in a, in a huge way. And that's all about coding. It's all about coding because every one of those urgent care places, that's what it comes down to. And that, now I saw the new ones in Florida. It would make sense they have these in Florida. They, the first one I just saw was like two weeks ago. They have a, a new chain, and forget the name of it. That's, that's an A. Anyway, it's urgent care for folks over 55. <laughs> so picture this. What a great way to slice and dice business. You know, target the older population because you know what? What the bottom line is that if they're not sick now, they're going to be sick. If they're not sick now, you can do what the drug companies tell them and convince them that they, they really do need this pill or that pill, even though they don't. You know, those ads drive me up a wall, man. And we've just seen more and more of those ads that, hey, do you know you may have this? Well, you better start taking this pill, man. And then, of course, the disclaimer at the end is longer than the ad. And, of course, it can kill you 8,000 different ways.
anyway. So let's go take a look at the, we know the note and bond market's not moving, meaning even after the, the Fed come out with their minutes. That's, that's another situation, folks, that that's telling me there's a note and bond market is topped. We take a look at the, let's go take a look at the GDX and see where we're at the GDX. This is, still needs more volume, but. No, you get a little more today. Okay, we're at 17 million. This ain't bad. I mean, yeah, five days we've gone from 25.50 to 28.20. Okay, we'll take that. And then we had a question about Barrick Gold. G-O-L-D. Let's look at this. Okay. You know, Barrick still needs some real sign of strength. It's been crawling up, but it does need a sign of strength. Let's go see if anyone's stepping into it. Oh, where Fidelity's stepping here. So we'll pull up the ownership and the last changes. So six, 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 six. Yeah, see, there's no new buyers here. And sellers. That's interesting. See, there's no there's no big movement in Barrick at all. Buyers or sellers. Let's go to Newmont and do the same thing. So Newmont. And when you look at it the scale, when when I'm showing this folks, what you're looking at is you want to look at where the green is, this is the buy-in. But you need the dates beside them. See, like, oh, this is right. This is cool right here. Who's that? So someone, Citigroup just came in yesterday and bought additional 937000 They own 18 million. Yeah, that's Citigroup. Now let's go to sellers. Yeah, there you go. There's a seller. That's... Grace Partners, they sold a million shares yesterday. Okay, let me do this. If we go to Aniko Eagle, I'm looking for 10. No new buyers there. No new sellers either. Stay right there. We'll come right back, folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. The Dow's trading up 8. NASDAQ up 65. S&P's up 9.5. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. 
Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Oh, welcome back, folks. So Dow, Dow up uh, 37, Nasdaq's up 78, S&Ps are up 14. Let's go to Jeff in West Palm Beach. Jeff, what's going on, brother? Hey, doing great, Tom. How are you? Good, man. Good. Thanks for the call. Thanks for holding. Appreciate it. Hey, I'm looking for a reverse on the uh, U.S. dollar, but I'm looking at the ruble. Can I get in here now? The ruble USD? Let's see. I mean, I know it's junk, but hey, they got oil, don't they? They got something to sell. Well, I don't know. It looks like a <laughs> double bottom here. What are you doing? Let's see. Let's, what do you think? Let me pull this up. I'm, I'm pulling it up right now. Okay. Okay, so okay, so we got three hundred no a hundred rubles to one US dollar. Yes. Six months ago it was seventy five. Let me pull this back more. I mean have you traded this before? I haven't, no, because my my um <laughs> my platform doesn't allow it. Um I'm trying to get in somehow because I'm not I'm not in a forex. I'm in a um, in a uh, like a CME contract, so I can't get in the ruble. They won't allow it. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, you get a wild card here, man, because you know the bottom line is is that you know this thing can just implode. I mean, you remember the last time that Russia imploded, right? Yeah, it's, I'm looking at I'm looking at a weekly back in uh, Feb 22. Yeah, it hit like uh, point zero zero six and a half. Right, and it's making that double bottom right now. Is it is it time to go or is it just you know don't even play with this one? This is like a silver crazy silver stock. It's worse than a silver stock, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I think I you know, I'm going to give you I mean, I'm in this trade, but I think one of the best trades out there right now if you trade the 10 year is trading the 10 year. You know. Okay. Because okay. you can do just two different things, folks, okay? Yeah, you can go in through the futures market, you can go in through the um, the TLT or you can go through the option market on the futures. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really, uh, you know. It's going to have to be the futures, the ZN. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And to just go long, go long on that for a bit, for a week or two? Yeah. Maybe three? I plan on being, okay. I mean, I, I think if I'm writing this, I'll be long for a while, man, because I got a feeling that it's going to be a one-way move. So, I mean, you, you'll have some volatility, but if, if this has topped meaning rates have topped you know we'll see quite a bit of movement that the next movement like if you look at this technically i believe the next movement is 111 and we're only at 108 let me just pull this up again i'm going to put it up in a generic one 
Yeah, it is. no, it is. It's 108. It's 111. One second. You're, you're on the tenure, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's 111. No, if I was, if if I was going with a, with, see, I've got to be out end of day anyway in my um, in my deal. So, looking for a currency, a quick currency move. You know, the euro is the euro. Yeah. Um, that should go up if the dollar is going to fail. But I'm looking for like the. Don't go like for the Brazilian real or the or the ruble. Don't play with that one, huh? No, no. Okay. Hey, you can go. Right. You can go, and if you have to be out at the end of the day, you can still go with the TMF. The TMF is, you know, three hundred percent of the, you know, ten year. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I can't be stocks either. I'm in. Yeah, you know, I yeah, see. My, yeah, it's it's unfortunate. It's, it's um, all futures, unfortunately. Well, or fortunately, it's great. Yeah, it's that's great. all right. That's but, all right. All right, so stick to the tenure and just, um, yeah. you know, nip and tuck in, in and out. And uh, and just keep small stops on them, right, right, yeah. Really? Okay. Because you're leveraging on the tenure, you got to remember this. I mean, the it's pretty amazing the leverage you get here, folks, it's okay? 1750 a pop, right? 1750 a point. Yeah, well, it's Something it's 1000 yeah. bucks a point, but you got... You're only putting up twenty two hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. Now leverage works both ways too. I mean, we know who's kidding who, okay? But you know, it's going the right way right now. We'll we'll see. I mean, you know, this has been quite a run. I, I showed a chart yesterday. I think it took fifteen or twenty years to get up to the highs. It took only a year and a half to get back to 20 years ago. <laughs> you know, and that, that's what happens in down markets. But that what happens also, folks, is if this is the rewind. Well, you know, when markets go up, they go up slow compared to on the way down. That's why people like going shot. But the bottom line, if you catch it right, well, good. The grind is on, man. And you get to trade it. You can be out there for a while on so. Yeah, yeah. I'm just looking. I'm, I'm a day guy, so I got to get out with my um, yeah. And no, I get it. Deal. Hey, anyway, hey. I think the Hawks are playing uh, the Bruins tonight, right? Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, I like that. And then, and the Hawks got the kid that uh, Bernard got, 18 year old kid. Oh, I'm gonna watch this. I lost him last night in Pittsburgh. Oh, the kid looked good. Did you? He he takes three strides and he's all the way across the ice. It's Seriously. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was, even Messier, all the announcers are like, wow, you know, give the kid a chance. He was so nervous, he came out without a stick yesterday before the game. That's wild, man. <laughs> yeah, so I think I think they're playing Boston tonight. I'm not 100%, but I think the Hawks first Boston. I'll uh, find it. Fun. I'll find it. Cool, man. I hey, appreciate Tom, it. Thanks so much for taking my call tonight. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You too. Thanks, man. Bye. You know, it's funny, folks, is that, uh, of course, growing up in Boston, I lived and died the Bruins, Bobby Orr, you know, Derek Sanderson, Vesposito. I mean, I, I lived at the Garden all the time. And, um, but what always did happen, I mean, Bobby Hull was amazing, man. And I always loved their outfits. So picture this. Then I get into the financial business, and, of course, I'm in Chicago all the time, and all these guys down, you know, the, the CME, you've, you've heard Kevin Hanks. Kevin Hanks is a, a rugby player, by the way, folks. And, and I'm sure, you know, they got the World Rugby Tournament on right now. If you haven't seen it, it's awesome. Um, but anyway, Chicago lives and dies hockey and rugby. Okay, but so the, the Blackhawks, they have some of the best jackets like you've ever seen, man. I mean, and it's wicked because I see them and I want to wear one. And I'm so I was like, I'm wear a Chicago Blackhawk. I should be wearing a Tampa Bay Lightning one now, you know. But I, that, we love, I love the Lightning now. There's no doubt. But I remember that was always like, my God. And it was so funny because it went from, you know, not ever being in Chicago, and I still love them. And then once I went to Chicago, it was like I loved them even more because Chicago. And, and it probably has to do with the, you know, the makeup of Chicago. It's just like Boston, man. I mean, you talk about a sports town. Holy cow. Man. You know, particularly down, you know, in the CME.
Dow Dow's up 57, Nasdaq's up 88, S&P's up 16. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. At Dow. Dow's up 55, Nasdaq's up 94, S&P's are up 17.5. And, you know, yes, it's the deviant market, folks. There's no doubt about this. I mean, let's just go look at the S&Ps because, you know, this is the slow grind. You know, the, the, the bottom, you know, might take what that thing is in. And today is just an indic another indication of it. Why? Because you got the pullback, right? And guess what? <sighs> that you just couldn't stop the market from going higher right into the close. So that's an indication this market wants higher price. And... You know, the bottom line is that you get the break in the dollar. The break in the dollar, to me, is one of the biggest things out there, period. You know, because if you look at the S&P, it was a direct correlation. I mean, as direct as we have seen in years, not just, you know, months, years. I don't remember the last time that we had such a direct correlation. And, and you got to put the note and bond market in with this, okay? But, you know, if you get lower rates, you can have a lower dollar. You get lower dollar... You're going to have a higher market. And you got to remember this. We, we've talked about this a million times before. A higher market doesn't mean you can buy more. 
It's just a higher number, you know. And I remember when the Zimbabwe market was going, that's when I really learned that I remember sitting at my desk in Trapello Road, like, how does this work, man? Like, it's going up to the thousands. But guess what? The thousands didn't mean anything because it got inflated away. So, so picture, you know, I think they get inflation under control right now. But the reality is, is that we went up like 30 or 35 percent. So the same, let's say, mark of 1,000 four years ago is like at least 1,300 now. It might be 1,400. Meaning what you can buy once you transfer whether stock, whether an asset, whatever you transfer to get something else. And that's, that's, you should really always kind of get that wrapped around your head. You know, it's not the number, it's what can you buy with the number versus what you could buy in the past with the number. I used to go to the store for my mother every day. Milk, bread, and cigarettes, 98 cents, man. Really? <laughs> Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning.